So I'm a little embarrassed to say this out loud, but let me put y'all my business real quick. I am at the airport in Orlando and I am headed to Charlotte to hang out with a guy who was buying me out. Um, we met for the first time on social media. And he was like, where you at? And I'm like, wherever you want me to be. And he was like, cool, stay last. And I'm like, that's me staying last. And now I'm heading to Charlotte. Y'all ready to see my husband? Actually, I'm ready to see him because I've never seen him before. So we'll see how that goes. And I really, really hope I don't get catfished this time because I feel like even though I wasn't catfished by Mr. Golden Corral, I feel like his personality catfished me. And that's worse. So, no, I don't want no spell. All right. And there are a lot of kids making noises right now. And usually I'd be annoyed. But I feel like I've got to prepare myself for my future as a mama and a housewife. So, I'm trying to just... Just talking and talking and talking and talking. I don't know if I can deal with that now. It's almost time. I'm a little nervous, but um, I think it'll be fine. And it's going to be a great experience. I know that. Welcome to Charlotte. Not me chewing like a horse, but I'm in Charlotte now. I'm going to get my bags. And then after I get my bags, <laughs> maybe I'll get a ring. Just so y'all are clear. I am not desperate because I know someone's going to eat me up in the comments talking about, and this is what happens when women are desperate. Shut up. I'm not desperate. I know I'm not going to get a ring today. I'm going to be happy with some Chick-fil-A. Because <laughs> it's crazy to me how people will judge what people are doing on TikTok and other platforms. But meanwhile, they are living the full Risa Tisa experience in real life. And yes, I do have on another guy's hoodie. Questions me about it. I'm going to get real defensive and say, what you think women can't wear unisex hoodies too yes i do have on another guy's hoodie questions me about it i'm gonna get real defensive and say what you think women can't wear unisex hoodies too that shit is crazy he told me to be on the lookout for an electric blue car and so i thought it was like the cars that run off of electricity and he said no the color of the car so i'm now looking for an <laughs> blue vehicle so i always say this never trust a man who drives one of the three c's that's a camaro a challenger or a charger i'm gonna have to do a voiceover here but he brought me brownies and he brought me some wine so i was excited about that he made homemade brownies for me how cute is that <laughs> now, I felt like I slow strolled it. Yeah. I just want to say uh, welcome home. I'm, I'm happy to see you here. How happy are you? I'm very happy. There's nothing but good energy. Uh huh. When we, when we together. Uh huh. Um, Always remember, one man's to your relationship is another man's one night stand. Play it safe, fellas. Man, your dudes out here tripping. It's one thing to fly a chick out, bro. But you find chicks out that look like Missy Elliott fam? <sighs> you tripping. Fellas, this is why I tell y'all dudes all the time, don't feed the birds. You see how disrespectful this chick is? This chick will have a man fly her out while she's wearing another man's hoodie. <laughs> These chicks be disrespectful, man, but a bird can't help herself, bro. Let me tell you something, fam. If you meet a chick on a dating app, on Instagram or whatever, just know that's a bird, bro. That's what she do. This, this should be all over the world having different dudes fly her out. So you imagine her body count. Imagine how many different dudes smash this chick. And imagine you spending mad money to fly her from wherever she's at to bring her to you. Dog, you gotta have better quality women wherever you at, fam. To fly a chick like this out, dog, you gotta be drunk. How desperate can you be, fam? She's telling you she's a bird. Imagine flying her out and then watching this video. <laughs> Fellas, you gotta think to yourself, fam. Only broke, desperate birds be eager to have a man fly them out, bro. A virtuous woman is not gonna just have another man fly her out that she don't know. It's only a bird will get down with that get down, all right? But one thing you could do is shoot a bird like a bird, but find out the chick that looked like her 
is wild, bro. That's crazy. A large part of my testimony is that I used to live this double life. So like club on Saturday, church on Sunday, sex during the week, leading worship on the weekends. And while on some level I knew it was wrong, I didn't care or love God enough to stop. Like my heart was just so detached from him and from understanding how much he loved me that I didn't care about the level of grief that I was causing. And while on some level I knew it was wrong, I didn't care or love God enough to stop. Like my heart was just so detached from him and from understanding how much he loved me that I didn't care about the level of grief that I was causing. Three of you in the room right now. You better look in my eyeballs. We ain't afraid of you, you stinking witch. You devil worshiping Satanist witch. We cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. We break your spells. We break your curse. We got your first name. We got your last name. We even got an address for one of you. You so much as cough wrong and I'll expose you in front of everybody in this tent, you stinking witch. It wasn't until I had a real understanding of the gospel and how much God loved me that my life started to change and transform because then my life became about loving him back. Like it became an honest desire of mine. So all that to say that if you feel like you're stuck in this in between or living this double life, don't focus on changing your behaviors or your actions. Like don't focus on behavior modification because it won't last. It's not sustainable. Focus on understanding how much God really and truly loves you and then on loving him back. If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? You got to respect her honesty. This chick is saying she didn't care or love God enough to stop being a hoe. You got to respect her honesty because that's how most women are <laughs> they're like yo i'm gonna do my dirt right now i'm gonna be a slut right now and maybe after i get tired of doing whole shit that's when i'm gonna turn my life to god okay that's when i'm gonna be a born again christian that's why you dudes have to be careful out here i keep telling you all dudes man before your wife these chicks up bro you got to do a background check. You got to check a history because you can't erase those bodies. That's the thing about a hoe, fam. Even if a hoe do a bunch of whole shit, even if a hoe do a bunch of whole shit in the streets and then run to the church, it don't erase her bodies. It don't erase her past. You could meet a chicken church and think to yourself, yo, she's a good girl. And then when you marry her, and then you find out all the different dudes who ran through her. That's when it's going to hit you like, damn, I wifed up a slut, but I got fooled because I met her in church. Fellas, understand something, fam. When a woman says, I didn't love God enough to be disciplined, to be a good woman, that's a woman who is telling you, I chose to be a hoe first. That's a woman who is still who she is. With the right opportunity, she's going to resort back to who she is. Trust me. The bottom line is this, man. Fellas, be wise out here. And don't be fooled when these chicks tell y'all, oh, I need a man of God and I go to church every Sunday. I'm a Bible thumper. I'm telling y'all, man, those women who be on that type of time be the biggest hoes, fam. Facts. <laughs> You know, Cooper, you can lose a lot of money chasing women, but you'll never lose women chasing money. Look, here's the thing, bro. Unless these chicks 
helped Money Man career. Unless these chicks could name four of Money Man's songs, this right here is Bonify Trickin'. And you gotta understand a trick, right? A trick don't just start tricking. Usually, a trick is the dude who weren't able to get girls back in the day when they were younger. So they came up with a master plan. Okay, if I get some money, I'm gonna be able to get girls. So in a trick's mind, he equates money with girls. And the problem with that is this, fellas. Tricking is not going to keep a bird around. It's only going to keep her around temporary. So in my mind, he's buying those bags for these broads to go fuck another nigga. That's what's crazy. Like I tell you dudes all the time, as a man, if you invest in a woman, you have to see ROI on your investment. Or else this right here is a liability. When it comes to investing in women, you want to make sure that woman is an asset to your life. And someone with that name, Money Man, they should try to show the world how to make your money appreciate. They should show the world how to be frugal with your money. Not taking your money and tricking it on a bunch of birds who don't give a fuck about you. That's the sad part about this shit, bro. Is when a man take his money and give it away to birds who don't give a fuck about him. But again, it's your money. Do what you want to do with it. But it's my job to make dudes aware why tricking is not cool for a man. Because something like this is not going to help his career. These broads look like they weren't shooting with him in a the gym. These broads are birds. They are focused on getting their hair done and taking dudes money. That's a mindset of a bird. And fellas, it's not wise to get thirsty and give your money away like this because a rainy day might come. Just because you're up right now and things is looking great, a rainy day might come and you might regret doing something like this. All right, so keep that in mind, fellas. If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. You all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch. Y'all already know, man, STC, support the content. If you guys haven't yet, go ahead and follow me right now on Facebook. I'm going to be posting content every day on Facebook starting from today. Follow your boy right now, AQ Reaction.